This week, the community is mourning the loss of a local businesswoman who died over the weekend. CTN's Jennifer Anderson sat down with the family of Margaret Chesvold, who are remembering a woman with a bright smile, caring heart, and boundless energy. Oh, remember when uh, we used to go to pottery class? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There is real joy in remembering a life so well lived and so well loved. This is Sand Creek. Creek. That's a great shot of her. Margaret Chesfold of Coon Rapids passed away November 24th, 40 days after celebrating her 100th birthday. Here's Suganda. Her daughter and partner in business, Mary T, was by her side in Margaret's final moments. Uh, grief is hard for everyone. We're lucky we have the support of so many people. As her family mourns, so too does the Coon Rapids community and people throughout the world. We say that she is the mother that everybody deserves. With her daughter Mary T and son Dean Chesfold, Margaret founded the Camellia Rose Care Center in Coon Rapids and Mary T Incorporated, a sprawling network of senior housing, health and hospice services, and assisted living for seniors and people with disabilities. Margaret became the life force of the business. Leading with her heart, she always had a smile to share time for a touch of the hand and the motivation to roll up her sleeves and get the job done. They still talk about the, the meals that she prepared and, and how she really, you know, not just want to talk about having good food and, and enjoying it together, but actually, you know, make, making sure that it happened. She dreamt, but she did things. Yeah. Margaret's dreams took her to far-flung places in Africa and Asia as a devoted humanitarian. She cared about other people and she was smart enough to get things done. My mother would say, you know, I have a plan, I have an idea. And uh, invariably it was a great idea and it was a lot of fun to do. Of her many works, Margaret collected toys for refugee camps in Thailand, distributed eyeglasses in Uganda, and opened a school in Cameroon. She traveled the world well into her 80s and 90s, all the while inspiring a company of devoted employees here at home and a family of worldly and accomplished children and grandchildren. Our staff members genuinely really cared for her. People around the world really care for her. People she's met once will still remember her. And I think that's what's touching to me is to see how she can impact people just with her presence because she had just the right demeanor for um, making people feel comfortable, making people feel welcome. She would say to me, you know, I don't remember everybody's name. And I said, you don't need to remember their name because you make them feel so important by touching their hand, smiling, connecting with them. So really, that's the legacy. For CTN Update, I'm Jennifer Anderson. A celebration of life is planned for December 20th at the Crooner's Bar and Lounge in Fridley, featuring some of Margaret's favorite songs.